IOCC continues to strive to fulfill its mission through faith in action. With the blessings and support of our hierarchs and donors, we have sustained and expanded our life-changing work around the world this year. We continue to adapt and improvise to meet the growing needs in the spirit of Christ's love. It is our pleasure to share how together with your support, we continue to impact so many lives. We provided training and small grants to help families and small businesses in Greece to survive the deep economic crisis. We've responded to disaster, the Beirut explosion, by immediately deploying emergency staff and supplies. And we've expanded our work to confront a debilitating and disfiguring disease called Poto in Ethiopia. Just like the mustard seeds our Lord tells us about in Scripture, the people of Greece have worked in ways great and small to rebuild from their country's economic recession. In fact, small seeds, in this case small businesses, are still yielding great hope and a means for families to continue a path toward economic viability. Georgius, a small owner from Evia, shared, We are grateful for IOCC's support in these critical moments for our business and our country amid the pandemic. With your help, we will be able to pull through. God bless you. As part of the Give for Grace initiative, participants work together to share stronger business plans, improving productivity and marketing, and increasing long-term sustainable growth. With nearly 20 years experience working in Lebanon, IOCC was able to quickly and efficiently respond to last summer's explosion in Beirut. After conducting rapid needs assessments, IOCC identified ways to address the crisis in the short term while setting up sustainable recovery. Our teams were deployed to communities where help was needed most. We rebuilt homes and schools, delivered food, and provided care and support to those affected, and helped families begin to heal, all in the spirit of Christ's love. A woman named Mary showed IOCC team members a battered chair. She'd been sitting in moments before the blast. If I'd been sitting in that chair, Mary said, I'd be dead now. I thank God that I'm safe. Poto is a painful and disfiguring disease of the lower legs that affects more than 1 million Ethiopians. With more than 11 million at risk, the disease is preventable and treatable. This year, IOCC renewed its efforts to end the affliction of Poto, training local health workers on techniques like the use of compression bandages and careful daily foot washing. IOCC reached nearly 55,000 people in 2020 alone with hygiene education and training to help prevent and treat Poto. One participant shared, IOCC health workers used to treat me well without being ashamed. They used to roll the bandages before I could do it myself. Whether through economic turmoil, disaster, or disease, the world will always face threats and challenges. Together with you, we stand ready to put our faith into action, striving to serve others in the spirit of Christ's love all around the world. Thank you.